We wanted to model the weather in more detail. For this we used the free states categorical distribution and encoded the free states as 0, 1 and 2. But we can also encode the states differently with vectors where only one state is hot, a one hot encoding. What does this mean for the probability mass function and for sampling the distribution? Hi, welcome to a new video. Today we want to look at the one-hot categorical distribution, for this we will introduce the probability mass function and then we will see how it is implemented in TensorFlow probability. So in the intro we already saw that we changed from an encoding with integers to an encoding with a one-hot vector. So let's note this down, we use an encoding as a one-hot vector and this has one important implication. So so far we've been talking about a p of w, where w is an integer, but this is no longer true. Now we have a p of a w vector. So here what we have is a random variable as a vector, because we use this one-hot encoding. Let us look what we have to save. And in a categorical, we noted down that we need to save the probabilities for each of the states appearing. And this is the same for the one-hot categorical. So we have to save the probability of the weather vector being the 1, 0, 0 vector. I'm using the transpose because I'm thinking of column vectors by default. And this will be theta 0. And of course, this is the probability associated with cloudy weather. Then we have the probability of the weather vector being 0, 1, 0, transposed, which will be theta 1. And that is the probability of rainy weather. And lastly, we have the probability of the weather vector being 0, 0, 1, transpose, and this is theta 2, the probability of sunny weather. And we can put these theta values together in a three-dimensional vector, and this will be our theta vector consisting of theta 0, theta 1, and theta 2, and this is what we have to save. Okay, let's express the probability mass function. How would we do this? So now we have a vector of probabilities and we have a vector of states that our potential random var variable can take. So we have to define the probability of the weather vector. And based on what we see here, one initial proposal, which is also the correct way of doing this, is to use the scalar product between the probability vector and the state that we're in. So the probability mass function can be defined as the theta vector transposed times the w vector. And this means, of course, scalar product. So I just put this in here. This is the same as saying we take the scalar product of these two. Okay, let us look at an example. And for this, we will keep the same probabilities as in the example of the classical categorical. So, so we have a 20% chance of cloudy weather, a 30% chance of rainy weather, and a 50% chance of sunny weather. And now let's look at what is the probability of our weather vector being the rainy vector. And also the states are now vectors because they're encoded one hot. And for this, we will say what is the probability of the weather being the following encoding, 0, 1, 0, transpose, and then we do the scalar product, so we do 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.5 in the vector transpose times, and here 0, 1, 0, and this would be 0 times 0.2 times 0, plus 0 0.3 times 1, plus 0 0.5 times 0, and of course we are left with 0 0.3, the probability of rainy weather. Okay, now let's look how it is implemented in TensorFlow probability. For this, I will open up an interactive Python session. Then I will first import a package in order to suppress TensorFlow warnings. Then we need TensorFlow probability as TFP. And for comparison, I will first create a regular categorical. So tfp.distributions.categorical 
and I will outfit it with the same probabilities 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. And if we look at this distribution, we see it's a categorical and nothing special here. Then we can look at its one hot companion. And for this, we will use the distribution's one hot categorical. And it has the same interface. So we provide it with the probability vector 0 0.3 or the theta vector. And if we look at it here, then we see, okay, it's a one-hot categorical. And now the important difference is the event shape is free. And here we see that our random variable is now a random vector. And in this case, it's a rank one tensor with three entries. So just a vector with three entries. Whereas for the regular vector, it is just an integer. So therefore it's like nothing inside of the brackets. It's just a scalar value. And this is also prominent if we sample the weather, for instance. So if we observe the weather once, and here we see, in this case, for the weather, we get a 1, which is associated with rainy weather. And if we sample the one-hot distribution once, we see we get a vector. In this case, we sampled sunny weather, and therefore the sunny entry, so the last entry, is encoded 1. And we can also use these distributions in order to access the probability of a certain event. So what is the probability of, for instance, rainy weather? So we plug in rainy and we get 0 0.3 for the regular distribution. But if we would do this for the one-hot distribution, um, it would actually work, but it would not be the, some sort of the correct answer. So we have to enter a vector that is associated with the shape of the event. So and Therefore, we use our one-hot encoding. So we do zero, then one because it's, because it is rainy, and zero at the end, and then we get the same probability. But what I find particularly interesting is if we sample more than one observation. So if we look at the weather for more than one days, and if we use the regular categorical and we sample it, let's say ten days. Then we get an array of encodings. So for instance, here we have cloudy, sunny, rainy, and so on. But if we sample the one hot weather 10 times, then we get a matrix or a rank two tensor because we have a, like an array of vector observations. That's it for the one hot categorical distribution. I hope you enjoyed the video. Here you will find more videos on similar topics. See you next time.